Oh, sod this. Bugger if I'll stay here just to get troubled by some... Oh, hey, hello. Cool. My, it's good to finally see a living soul in the streets. Now, I apologize for the short introduction, but have you by any chance seen a pink hair girl? I think she's accompanied by a boy, and possibly a woman. By any chance, I did. Who are you? And what the hell happened to your eye? What, this? Oh, I just fell down a bunch of stairs. Uh, you see, I had to talk to them without delay, but luckily I haven't found anyone yet. I understand why! One by one, they ran away like rats and left me here with that stack of metal junk! Don't talk about their mech that way. It can be very useful. That's for sure. Are you a friend of theirs as well? Not as much, no. We share some needs, is all. So I assume you don't know where they went. Hmm. Could you at least lead me to the people organizing the tournament? They probably have their ways to know everyone's location. You mean the old man? Yeah, I know where he lives, but I doubt the bloke's still there. Harrington Street. A few squares up here. Well, it's something. I may find something about Law Talos there. What? <laughs> Never mind. Thank you very much for your help, little boy. Is there anything I can do for you in return? Hmm. Perhaps. Got a penny in your pocket? Oh, let me see. Ah, here. You can have it. Ah! <laughs> I should have known by now. There isn't a single common kid in the city. And I should have known you just another mad murderous tourney fighter. Don't be so paranoid. My hand just slipped is all. Slip it somewhere far from my landing. Will you run away, little boy? How inappropriate. I'm on to being inappropriate and alive. That little girl didn't run away. And what do you think she lost? <laughs> I like your trains of thought. We are higher than I thought. What's wrong? There is nothing wrong. I just felt a sudden attraction for this iron support. Right. Hello, governor. destroyed part of the public patrimony used currently to the competitors in need. That, sir, is a level 3 offense. No security blows again. Offense? Grand Lodge. It didn't make a scratch. Step aside, Daryl. The heavy hand of the law will teach him some manners. Oh, I'm sorry. I must still be feeling bruised. I didn't want to cut off your hand. Superiors will hear about this insolence. I think we had enough of the whole cat and mouse chase. Just out of curiosity, what is this obsession with killing and destroying? A thief killed my parents, and I've never recovered from the incident. But let's not lose focus, shall we? Right, so because of some horrible tragedy, you decided to go stone bonkers and kill everyone. But you don't think that gives you the right to kill me? I can't die here. I've survived worse things than this. Nox, I had to die like this at least once per week. I've passed through orphanages, academies, the streets, a miserable working in an asylum that became some tourney for no logical reason. I faced demons, fanatics, doctors, cancers, a climber, even zombie children. A climber? And now the same mishmash decided to wreck my city, the only home I've got. So that's why you don't want to die here? That's alright, I understand. 
What? Go die in New Jersey! Hey, you alright? Oh, you flatter me! I'm much better now, though. The events last night weren't exactly pleasant, but you know, Arma, the little boy's right. We can't die here. Not when we have a job to do. You can sense my energy sinking right now, can't you? Just watch, Castle! Once I get my wish, you're next. You were lucky I had my screwdriver with me. I could have fixed my leg by myself. Yeah, sure. Just like last time. Where's that boy? I told him to wait for us. <gasps> that bastard! Steffi, where are you going now? Can you stop running around and... Huh? Huh? I have a feeling this has something to do with a certain chaos he mentioned. <laughs>